Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are going to see one of Damian Lillard and Russell Westbrook switch teams. The reason I really want to do this video is because the All-Star Reserves for the 2018 NBA All-Star Game were just announced. And pretty much like Russell Westbrook kind of roasted Damian Lillard saying that the only reason he made it is because he was like complaining and stuff like that. And that Paul George deserved it over him. And all this other stuff out there that was pretty much disrespectful towards Damian Lillard. Who I honestly think, you know, a man that's averaging 25 points, uh, 7 assists, and 5 total rebounds is actually worth an all-star thing because he's only made one his entire career so i think Dave miller definitely deserves it so for today's video guys we are going to switch these players uh and you know because you think about it like this the current record of these teams at the making of this video okc thunder 27 and 20 we got the portland trailblazers at 26 and 22 just one game behind and i feel like the trailblazers um have a lot worse players around Damian Lillard that Russell Westbrook has on the OKC Thunder. So, you know, that means that Damian Lillard is carrying his team out there, right? I mean, yes. You got CJ McCollum. He's a great player. I love him as shooting guard. Um, but I don't think he's as good as Paul George. Not quite yet, at least. But he's still a good player. You got Harkless. He's no better than uh, whoever they got as shooting guard. I mean, what? Roberson, I guess, is a 76 overall player. Amino definitely is not better than Camaro Anthony. You got Nurkic, who is a nice young center, but is not as good as Steven Adams. So, Damian Lillard is doing about as much um with a lot less of talent on his team so we're gonna see how russell westbrook wants these guys out there see if he can get them to the nba playoffs or you know still be a top c a top five c like he is right now in the okc thunder um you look over here on the okc thunder we got damian lillard out there i honestly like the look of him on this team uh just because like i feel like the the biggest chemistry issue with the okc thunder is that paul george and Carmelo anthony they, they feel like they need to like defer to russell westbrook at times because russell westbrook of course won mvp last season um and that's not really like the duties of a point guard you know the point guard is supposed to lead the team and get everybody involved out there so i just feel like damian lillard yes he does average less assists but he also averages less shots a game too um i don't know i, I feel like he would play nicely off paul george because i feel like this would allow paul george to feel more on like an equal level with damian lillard and allow for you know a lot of nice things to happen on the basketball court as far as chemistry goes so guys we are going to simulate this season talk a little bit about all this whole situation right here i want to talk about all-star snubs and all that just because i don't know man it's very interesting when you think about the i wait, wait one sec let me let me put this on uh yeah playoff picture so we can see everything going on right here but i don't know like the idea of, of all-star snub is kind of interesting man because in the end of the day yes i i know that like being an all-star is cool and everything but um nobody really cares nobody really cares like nobody really cares how many all-star games michael jordan got to they care about how many rings he's won so it's like why do these guys care so much about this in a meaningless game it really is meaningless i mean this year they are doing the whole uh draft thing which is pretty cool but actually the i believe the nhl tried that out before and they ended up canceling it because like people were getting hurt feelings out there um uh, because you know they were drafting other players and just like guys were like yo why'd you pick me last man and it was just all this crazy drama and all this stupid stuff out there so i don't really get it guys um what's like the big thing about being an all-star it's like yeah maybe you get a little you know maybe you get a buck 25 bonus or something like that when it comes to your contract maybe there's a clause in there saying that if you went that you get uh you know in the all-star game you get more money or something like that i don't really know yo what's going on over here man come on man y'all gotta simulate okay but yeah i i think it's a bit you know disrespectful for what russell westbrook did calling out the guy like that because like i was saying man like paul george this season um his stats are nice i will say he does deserve to be on the all-star game um but you think about it like this man no matter what you do there is always going to be snubs plain and simple it's like if paul george uh, would have made it then people would have been complaining saying you know oh man damian lawyer's a big time snub so it's just kind of like same song and dance every single year where people just like complain about that stuff and i mean i i get it we all we all are fans of our favorite players and stuff like that um i think of like andre drummond on the detroit pistons like uh, obviously you guys know the pistons are my favorite team but guess what i don't think that andre drummond deserved to be an all-star this season yeah he's put up the numbers he just had like a 30 point 24 rebound game but guess what my detroit pistons their record on the season is 22 and 24 that an, an all-star to me yeah you put up the numbers but also you lead your team and that's drummond was not really doing that so i don't know man i, I feel like that needs to be taken into consideration and i feel like in the end of the day it's like you look at paul george and damian lillard they had to make a choice in that case and damian lillard is the better player on his team like he's the number one player on the trailblazers where paul george is currently would you say he's probably the second you know the second best player on the uh thunder behind russell westbrook right and then carmel anthony probably being third out there so i'm okay i'm okay with the selection out there and you look at this right here look at that man russell westbrook on the trailblazers currently eighth seed 
in the Western Conference. You also got to think about the situation that you are really put around there too, man, where it's just like, um, I feel like Damian Lillard, like if he was playing with better players, he would be a better player because of it. It just makes sense, right? So, I don't know. I, I've always respected what Damian Lillard's done out there, um, just because he's never always had like the best management. Um, you know, they've never, they've never always like made like the best like draft choices out there or the best free agent stuff. They always got bitch ass contracts. It seems like uh, I said this in a different video. They pretty much have Damian, CJ McCollum, Nurkic is a nice upcoming center, and then like a whole bunch of like bitch ass contracts and just like power forwards on the team that pretty much they throw into the rotation said okay damien take this roster and make them win and so far he's doing just as good as the big three thunder out there i'm not trying to disrespect, disrespect the thunder or anything like that uh because i do have respect for russell westbrook of course like, he's one of my favorite players in the nba uh i just like to keep it real in my videos guys it was not cool what he said russell westbrook fan or not guys you gotta agree it's not cool for him to call another man like that uh damien Miller definitely earned his all-star appearance i would say but, but here we go guys we have one game left in the season the okc thunder currently uh, fourth place with Damian Lillard at a record of 50 and 31 in the in the uh, Trailblazers. I feel like I said the Pelicans in this video a few times. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot, a lot of peas going on right there. But yeah, are not in the playoffs. So simulate through date, see if they make it. You know, at the last second, they do not. So we got Stephen Curry getting the MVP, Ben Simmons, Rookie of the Year, Jeremy Lin, Andre Drummond, and Chris Dunn getting some um, awards out there. Russell Westbrook still getting All NBA first team. So yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to prove a point saying that Russell Westbrook is. Uh, not is is not any better than Damian Lillard. I obviously think he's a better point guard. I just think that he's also in a better situation. So um, I feel like what Damian Lillard did on his team is big time with what he has out there. So kind of the point of this video, I would say. But let's uh, check out the player stats on the season. First, let's check out Russell since he got that uh, All NBA first team. So player stats. He's still averaging a nice 20, uh, 26 points out there. His rebounds down a little bit from last season. You know he was averaging that triple double. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. This season he is actually averaging. You know 25 points in real life so he's right about at that same average uh he is averaging 10 assists and his assist numbers are down 1.4 makes sense not as good of players to pass you're not as good as shooters on that team um and his let's see what his uh rebounds per game he's about 10 rebounds a game too which is also down on that uh cj mccollum a nice 25 points so he played nicely with westbrook we got Nurkic out there again the 13.8 rebounds so let's also check out damian Miller now and uh, he led this team in scoring 25 points got himself the four rebounds got about seven assists out there but also you got paul george whose scoring numbers are up i believe right now he's averaging about 20 21 points on the season so that frees up more things for him and uh, I, I don't know what Melo's averaging on the season right now but i don't think he's averaging no 20 plus points is he i i'm thinking he's probably around like 17 points per game could completely be wrong about that but i don't know i, I just feel like for chemistry reasons this fit just worked out nicely you know what i'm saying so let's go ahead guys jump into these playoffs right here see what it's all about uh really we just have the okc thunder who will probably lose in the second round to like the houston rockets similar like current round here and oh well okay oh damn yo clip was up two games zero and lost that okay well that's not great uh, okay so close out game 35 points nine rebounds six assists for paul george 22 for Carmelo in a 19 and 13 assist game for damian lillard uh, who shot some for 20 so you know he could also be kind of a streaky shooter at times no doubt uh here we go houston rockets similar current rounds and yeah i didn't expect them to get past that team because that team was just phenomenal right there but close out game 34 points we got 26 5 and 3 for damian lillard uh let's go ahead and submit the rest of the playoffs but yeah guys let me know in the comment section below what do you think about russell westbrook's comments towards damian lillard um do you feel like they were warranted do you feel like he should have do you feel like he had the right to kind of like defend his teammate like that and say yo paul george should have made it um, which I'm not denying that. Maybe he should have went with a more mature route of doing it. Just, I don't know, man. Just kind of rubbed me the wrong way, which is the big reason why I, want, why I wanted to make this video. And real quick, let me check off these playoff stats. So that's what it's looking like in the playoffs right there. Damian Lillard getting it done out there. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop that like, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And also let me know in the comment section below, who do you think the biggest all-star snub was? Was it Paul George? Let me know.